Bible. One to be congested. Two, make prison conditions better and internationally acceptable. Three, bring conditions of our prisons in line with modern trends and best practice. Four, expand sentencing options available to our judges. Five, reduce government expenditure on our prisons. Six, enhance the health conditions of the inmates and seven, improve upon their human rights. As already mentioned, we have the active support and collaboration of the Chief Justice and Leadership Mrs. Georgina Wood, as well as the Honorable Minister for Justice and Attorney General. I have personally had talks with them on one on one and they both support the process. Indeed, I paid a courtesy call on the Chief Justice just last Monday. It was quite and supportive of the initiative. The Judicial Service is giving us three very senior judges to support us. Discussions have also been held with the Bar Association and they likewise are in support of the courts. They have provided a rapporteur and we expect them to be by two seasoned lawyers. The two day forum is under the chairmanship of Justice Sam Badu, a former director of public prosecution, a retired Supreme Court justice, and a lecturer in criminal procedure at the Ghana School of Law. Justice Badu is also an active member of the Ghana Prison Ministry, which aims at promoting sentencing measures is an issue that will indeed be of great interest to the prison ministry justice act, to the prison ministry and the general public. Justice Badu will bring his rich experience to bear on this program. My dear brother, this is simply why we have invited you to drum the message you go and friends that we are committed to ensuring that the outcome of this forum initiates the process towards the adoption of non-custodial sentencing measures for the criminal jurisdiction of our country. During my visit to some of the prison facilities, to some of the prison facilities of my authorization for and interaction with some of the inmates. One major issue which was easily observable is the issue of overcrowding. Overcrowding in such hot and humid conditions has the potential to result in a lot of health challenges. A lot of these are remand cases which well up the already overcrowded prison. Basically, the only major prison facilities which have been added to the system after independence in 1957, is a recently commissioned Antarctic Maximum Security Prison, which has a capacity for 2,000 inmates, when our population has grown from a little over 6 million to 24 or 35 million. 